Hi there. Welcome back to the chapter Attitude is Altitude, the biographical article about Nick Vujicic. We've already read the chapter and we've done the question answers. Now we'll deal with adjectives. This entire chapter is describing Nick Vujicic, describing his personality, describing his life. Yes, so of course it will be filled with adjectives. So let's look into some vocabulary grammar. So first, the first section here, tick the adjectives which best describe Nick Vujicic. Let's take them up one by one. Positive. Was he positive minded? Yes, of course, because he did not let his problems trouble him. He went on with his life. So let's tick it. Negative. Was he negative minded? Maybe very initially in his childhood, but not later on. Optimistic. Always having a positive outlook. Always seeing what is good in us. That is called optimism. Yes, he was optimistic. Pessimistic. Someone who always thinks negative about himself or about things around himself. So he was definitely not pessimistic. Generous. Someone who wants to give what he has for the benefit of others. Yes, he was generous. How? He used his own disability to give hope to others and help people find motivation. So that was very generous of him. Nervous. Was he the kind who was always scared, always easily affected by things? No, he was a very confident man. So not nervous. Confident. Yes, of course. In the face of adversity, in the face of troubles, he never bowed down. So he was confident. Smart. Does Do we speak about looks here or attitude? We are talking about smart attitude. That means smart thinking. Yes, he was smart because he knew when to do what. So he was smart. Was he sociable? What does sociable mean? Friendly, easily mingling with people. Yes, he traveled the whole world. So he is definitely sociable. Cowardly. Did he panic? No, he was not cowardly. Courageous. Yes, brave to fight all the problems in his life. Reliable. Was he trustworthy? Yes, of course. We are all looking at him, taking him as an example. We are trusting him and learning something from him. So he is definitely reliable. Independent. Does he need carers around him even today? No, he does all his work by himself. He lives his own life. He is definitely independent. Dependent. Maybe early childhood, but not anymore. Obedient. Remember when his parents sent him to a regular school rather than a special school, he listened to them. He obeyed them, even though it was difficult for him. That is obedience. So he was definitely obedient. Trusting. Trusting means easily believing others. Was he trusting? Maybe a little. But he was not so naive to blindly trust everyone. So let's not take trusting as an adjective to describe Nick. Valiant. Valiant means fearless, extremely courageous. I would say Nick is courageous, but valiant is something like when you're completely exposed to danger right in front of you, like a knight or a warrior or a soldier. So let's not use valiant for Nick. Self-centered. Someone who always thinks only of himself or herself. Was he? No, definitely not. He was not selfish. Arrogant. Rude. And stubborn. And selfish. That is definitely not Nick. Sarcastic. People who always mock others. That is, they say something but they mean something else. Nick was not sarcastic. Quarrelsome. Always picking up fights with others. 
no definitely not rude speaking impolitely mm -hmm. no creative yes what is creativity churning out a plan out of nothing in order to help yourself yes he was creative even though he didn't have arms and legs he chalked out a plan for himself and rose to succeed succeed yeah so he was definitely creative stubborn always wanting to do only what you wish and not listening to others no he was not so lazy unwilling to do work not at all pompous show off no he never showed off he was very humble and modest level headed means balanced personality yes he was so pay attention these are the positive qualities in nick and you too must absorb some of these positive qualities into your personality yes next part pick out the sentences from the reading that means from the chapter that support these attributes attributes means qualities let's see where in the chapter were these qualities of nick evident clearly seen let's see positive minded which part of the chapter shows that he is positive minded in spite of his disability he has become a great personality today that's because he was positive to use the good in him and not bother about what is lacking in him optimistic that means always thinking positively see here i decided to be thankful for what i have and not get angry about what i don't optimism is very important positive outlook in life generous giving helpful i decided to use my life to encourage other people and give them courage than the that the article had given me remember nick read an article about a disabled man who used to encourage other people and give them hope so when nick read that he too decided to use his life to benefit others now what else could generosity be other than this right so he was generous and this part shows that confident which part shows that he was confident but they'll never take away the beauty of my eyes one day in front of the mirror he told himself yes i look different yes i look strange i don't have arms limbs only a torso and a head but nobody can make me feel that they can never take away the beauty in my eyes how i look at myself so that is amazing confidence independent which part of the chapter shows that he was independent he was able to do his own work i could brush my own teeth with a wall mounted brush since he had no hands he had a wall mounted <laughs> brush he would go up to it and brush his own teeth that is independence he didn't wait for his mother to come with a brush obedient his parents decided not to send him to a special school a decision he said was very hard for him see it was <coughs> difficult for him yet he did it because his parents asked him to do it that is obedience creative i decided to use my life to encourage other people see he chucked out a plan for himself he thought how well to make use of my life that is definitely creativity sociable he visited different countries all over the world imagine talking to thousands of people about your life and motivating them to live their life to the fullest you are definitely sociable so these were the sentences that showed these attributes or qualities in him next part of the grammar tick the word nearest in meaning to the underlined word let's see the first one water sports aren't nick's only thing he also plays golf with a club tucked under his chin so what could tucked 
mean kept pulled covered or tied i would say pulled don't you tuck your shirt into your pant that is called pulling your shirt into your pant i would say pulled next his distraught mother couldn't bring herself to hold him until he was 4 months old distraught means beside yourself in grief too sad so which word could mean almost distraught angry careless shy or anxious i would say anxious his mother was not only sad but she was worried how will my son live in this world so i would say anxious is almost close despite the risk of bullying his parents insisted on nick attending mainstream that means regular school what does bullying mean bullying mean when you look down on someone and you insult them for what they are so i would say is it discrimination humiliation negligence or failure it is definitely humiliation insulting others for what they are just because you feel they are different from you it's a wrong thing to do let's say humiliation next let's continue the same exercise nick who was teased and bullied had an electric wheelchair for mobility and a team of carers to help him now what could mobility mean why do we call it a mobile phone because it moves around it can be moved around along with us so mobility could mean socializing movement travel or safety definitely movement next nick managed to pull through to become an international symbol of triumph over adversity triumph means winning and adversity means difficulties the unpleasant situations in our lives not disability not poverty not opposition difficulties the challenges in our lives are there to strengthen our convictions do you have convictions in your life strong beliefs so what do we have here feelings practices beliefs or characters beliefs without a strong conviction you it is difficult to have a dream to have an aim remember that so beliefs so that was grammar from the topic attitude is attitude by now i'm hoping you getting an idea how to build a positive attitude how to get success in life based on perseverance don't give up just keep going on remember nick and his life and his conditions and how he rose out of it yes so i'll see you soon with another amazing chapter in english till then bye